Dove Time Series is a collection of um, plankton going back from the, uh, August 1968. Plankton samples have been collected for the Dove Time Series once a month on board the university's research vessel, the Princess Royal, for the last 50 years, weather permitting. Environmental variables including temperature, salinity, turbidity and light attenuation are also recorded. We are going to collect um, three different um, plankton samples uh, from three different nets. Uh, each one's a different size to target different types of plankton. The first one's a P200 which collects the smaller um, microzooplankton. The second is a WP2 and that collects lo the larger uh, moderate size zooplankton. And then the last one is uh, a large net uh, WP3 which is about one millimetre in size and it collects uh, fish eggs and larvae predominantly. Um, and then some of the large large plankton like jellyfish and uh, large cocoa pods um, etc. The samples are brought back and preserved in fixative to prevent decay over uh, several years for storage. The samples are then analysed to identify and enumerate all organisms in that sample down to species level where possible. Planktonic organisms are used as biological indicators for UK monitoring of climate change and anthropogenic influences due to their short life cycle and rapid reproductive rate. Phytoplankton and zooplankton hold additional importance as they are the basis of the marine food web and provide insight to the bottom-up effects on the ecosystem and the presence and influence of toxic phytoplankton species via the introduction of discrete depth bottle sampling. The research is important to assess the impacts of climate change and anthropogenic influences on the North Sea ecosystem. Nutrients in the <laughs>